Savage Business. Simple business advice for you to start and run your business. What's going on, people? This is your host, Glendon Cameron, and today I want to talk about why start a business. If this is your first time here, be sure to go to the front of the channel, pick out one of the playlists and start watching videos from the beginning up to this one because there's economic benefit in it for you. This video was brought to you by Hustlers Kung Fu University, AKA Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills, where our current course that we have going on is how to make money from scratch to set up in the foundation. So if you want to get 50% off of this course, what you will do is leave a comment on this video. And also there's a whole lot more for you at Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills. We deal with credit repair. We deal with how to start a business and the money management course. If you want 50% off of this course, leave a comment in the video. So we got a lot of stuff going on. So let's get into this wonderful bean footage. So let's dive off in today's topic. Why should you start a business? Number one, you can give yourself a raise. Number two, you can take control of your destiny. Number three, you can contribute to the world. Number four, you can build something. Number five, your self-esteem is going to go through the roof. Number six, you'll be able to take care of your family better. There are so many reasons to start a business. And there are so many people who are afraid of the work. And once again, it's work. It's a lot of work. Starting a business is work. You will have to work. You will have to put in weekends. You'll have to work in the evenings. You And no, you're not going to quit your job, baby boy. No. Your job is to support you and your business income is to support your business. And it's going to be a hard road, but I'm here to tell you it's worth it. I used to be just like you. I used to be out there working a regular job, working overtime, having a part-time job to make more money. I remember I was in the United States Army stationed right here at Fort McPherson and I had a part-time job. You weren't supposed to have a part-time job as an Army member, but I, I did it anyway because we had weekends off. And I would work 16, 32 hours of giving up my weekend time on this job. You know how much money I made? I made $171 made like $341 for giving up four of my weekend days. $341 minus taxes and stuff, it was like $200 and some change. So for a year, I made like $2,700. There is a better way. And with the internet and all of the information that we have, you can start a business much quicker, much faster, much cleaner than you could ever, ever before. There are so many resources. One of the things I'm going to do on this channel is I'm going to put out what type of business, because the, the purpose of this channel is to be educational and foundational because you have so many people who will say something like, what kind of business should I start? I don't know, homeboy. What kind of business should you start? What kind of business should you get into? What type of business? First of all, I'm going to tell you a little story. And this is about me. So, you know, people get all weird when you start talking about yourself or propping yourself up on the Internet. And I'm here to explain that I was in a worse position than you currently are. I was in a bad marriage. I ended up going through a divorce. Then bad marriage and the divorce left me homeless. I was sleeping in my car. Then I wrecked my car, so I had to move into a boarding house. What is a boarding house? It is a house or apartment where you're living with strangers. And sometimes your roomies could be cool people and sometimes they could be crackheads or drunks or alcoholics. I remember one day in this boarding house, 
me and Jafar were sitting in the living room watching television, bam, 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 on the door. And he opened up the door and there's a cop with a gun shoved in his face. And another cop, no, they ain't them, and they just left. That's what the kind of stuff that happened in the boarding house. It was a horrible three years of my life. This was where I was. So I figured out a way to get a better job. This is why you're, <clears throat> why you're not gonna quit your job. Having a job gives you money to eat, put gas in your car, your business income should fit the business. So I, I was working at Voice Stream, which now is T-Mobile, and I was a salesperson and I did a really good job. I was salesman of the month and I got laid off. Yep, got laid off and I learned a very important lesson that you can do a good job, but if you're not properly affiliated and properly connected, you can still be out of the food chain and that was me. So I went home and I sat down and I thought of a plan. I actually began to think, how do I solve this problem of not making enough money? Because when I was in the boarding house, I had two jobs. I had one job to pay the bills and another job to save money. So I had a little bit of stash. So I had a little bit of time. So essentially, I had a computer in the boarding house, which was strange, but I had a computer. And I was able to get on this computer, go to monster.com, and pick out jobs that I felt I can do. And I created a scripted and deliberate resume for each job. And I got one and I had my reference, Mr. Patel, as you know, to back it up. And they called my reference to ask me two questions. Did he work there and would you hire him again? That was the big background check. So I got into my first job making $38,000 a year plus commission. It was more money than I was making working two and three of these crappy little jobs. So I got into that job and I skilled up. I learned how to sell. I learned what the sales process was. I learned how to put together a sales campaign. I learned how to reach out to customers. I learned how to cold call. I learned so many things. I learned presentation. Then, did I start my business after that job? No. I still needed more seasoning. So I got another job and I got more skill sets and more connections and more knowledge. And then after that, I got another job. Once again, this is why you're not quitting your job because I know that you are big, bold, and beautiful. You're ready to set the world on fire, but you are not seasoned. You don't have enough seasoning. You, you're just all this raw talent, but without the seasoning, you know, it's not a tasty meal. So the third job, I learned the most. I learned about LLCs. I learned about holding companies. I learned a whole bunch. And at this point, while I still had a job, I started my business. So I was getting income from my job and I was getting income from my business. And it literally changed my life. It changed everything in my life. I had more money than at the time when I knew what to do with. I had never been in this situation. I saw my checking account 300K large. I saw more checks coming in. I had a paid off car. All this came because I started a business. This is what happens. A business will literally change your life. But let's go ahead and look at the hell that I went through to get there. Living in the boarding house, being homeless, going through, you know, at any moment I felt that someone at Renecrate was going to discover that I was a fraud and they were going to get rid of me. But I stayed there long enough to get the knowledge I needed and to bounce. So why you want to start a business? It will change your life. It will change you as a person and stop being afraid of the work. Because here's the, one of the things I consistently hear. I don't want to waste time. Really? You don't want to waste time? What are you doing when you're hanging out at bars on a Saturday night? What are you doing when you're just sitting at home watching Netflix show after show? What are you doing? You're wasting time. <clears throat> I don't want to hear this argument. I don't want to waste time. You don't want to do the work. That's the problem. You don't want to do the work. You don't want to skill yourself. You don't want to apply yourself because you are afraid you would fail. That's what it is. This is why so many guys will see this gorgeous woman 
and they want to talk to her, but they're scared she's going to say no, so they never go over and talk to her. So they don't know what's going to happen. There's so many opportunities. You don't want to be 70, 80 years old looking back at your life going, God, I wish I had started that business. I wish I had uh, taken that chance. I wish I had did X, Y, and Z. Don't be that person. So there are so many ways to start a business with no money and you know, be sure to subscribe. And more importantly, when you subscribe to this channel, watch all of the videos because I'm organizing this channel and the playlist will be deliberate. They'll be easy to search because one of the playlists is gonna be like how to start a business. What kind of business can you start without no money? And I'm gonna list those videos and then there's gonna be LLC videos and there's gonna be sales videos and they will be in the neat and tidy order. So it will benefit you to watch all of these videos because I'm all about foundational educational training. One of the biggest issues is that you have so many people out here going out here trying to start a business and they have no seasoning. Like, I remember on my other channel, Hustlers Kung Fu, I put my phone number up there and I said I would give a free 30 minute call to business owners and the setup where it was a scheduler. And I had people who had just put up a website and no sales. I mean, it was just so, they didn't know what they didn't know. They didn't understand what they didn't understand. And it was painful because I had all of these people who were calling me. And fortunately, I had enough real business owners, people who were active concerns, products, services, and customers in cash flow and a budget that I was able to make some money. But I was like, I'm not doing this again without a clear factor because then I started to readdress my message that you needed to actually be in business. Because if you have a business or something and we get into a consulting arrangement, so I can help you grow your business, make your business better because there's things I have seen that you have yet to see. But once again, don't be afraid of the work. If you do the work, you will be successful. Now, there are many people who will turn down perfectly good businesses because they're looking for a business that is sexy. There is someone who is selling little flags on a little stick, making millions of dollars. There are so many ways to make money with a business. Do not limit yourself to barber shops, Jamaican restaurants, because this is where everybody's going through these same herds. Because once again, there's so many people who are more concerned with how they look making the money than they are about making the money. Because when you get into the reality of making the money, when you get into the game of making money, when you get into the foundational aspects of making money, it becomes fun. Let me tell you what happened to me. My first job at Rent Crate, I was scared because they had hired me to be telesales. My job was to call up companies to set up appointments. And it was scary because I was like, doo, 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 doo. hi, this is Glenn McCameron. I was sounding like a scared runaway slave in those first few calls because I was so terrified. And essentially it was me picking up the phone, dialing another human being and giving them, you know, it was so funny because after I became comfortable, I became really good at it, but I was so scared because I didn't know what was going to happen. I thought if someone said no, that I was going to, become set on fire or something you know it was just this fear this like this fear of public speaking i will tell you a quick story in a minute about public speaking but one of the things that i discovered that you have to face your fears you have to push through you have to bear down and really push through a lot of this stuff because you will find out once you get to the other side there wasn't nothing to be scared of. There was nothing to be worried about. It was like, whoa, this was, I should have did this years ago. Here's a quick story. I've been, was doing YouTube, I think at the time for four or five years. And I was always deathly afraid of public speaking. And it was in a situation where I had to give a speech to a group of writers. And I noticed 
that from doing the YouTube videos that I was quite comfortable speaking in front of an audience. And I had never done this before. It was the strangest additional benefit of doing YouTube that I was able to do public speaking because after that there, had, there were other events and I was able to do them and it worked great. And people was like, we love your presentation, we love your speech. And I had never done this stuff before, but thanks to creating YouTube videos and talking to the camera and talking to all of you guys, it set me up. So once again, when you start a business and when you learn core business skills, they're transferable to other areas of your life. I guarantee you, if you become really good at sales, you learn the, art, the, the craft of sales. And once again, learning how to sell with nothing to sell is stupid. You should have a product to sell. When I was at Renacrate, I knew that I needed help. So I ordered books on how to cold call and they helped me tremendously because I was able to read these books. Then the next day, go to work and apply the knowledge. If you're just learning sales or learning marketing or learning advertising just to learn, it's not going to really benefit you. You want to be in a situation where you can learn and apply this knowledge. Right now, I'm reading a book about copywriting. And, you know, I'm only on page 50 and I've come across so many gems because I, as a YouTuber and a blogger, I do headlines and headlines are the entrance to copywriting. If your headline's not good enough, no one's going to know how good or bad your copy is because the headline starts it all. And I just learned that. So, and I'm getting ready to apply it and I'm going to do it all over the place. But I want you guys to start a business because for me, the product of a single parent household, because statistically, I am not supposed to be where I'm at. Statistically, you know that the majority of people live and die in the social economic class that they're born in. A business can change all that. A business can totally move, change all of that. Like if your father was poor and your mother was poor, chances are you're going to die poor. You want to know why? Because we inherit so much things, so many things from our parents that we're completely unaware of. We're just like, whoa, I'm inheriting this. I got this. You get so much from you get the good and you get the bad. And since your parents didn't have a Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather to speak to them, to skill them up, to motivate them, to urge them to do more, they did what they could do. They tried to figure it out themselves. And if your dad died poor and your mom died poor, they never figured it out. And if they didn't, since they didn't figure it out, they couldn't give that to you as an inheritance. So you did the same thing they did try to figure it out, you went out and got a job, or you got into the American credit indoctrination system, you know, you were in debt before you graduated college. If you graduated college, you got a credit card, you got a car payment. You know, the average credit card car payment in America is 550 bucks per month. The average credit card payment is $183 per month. And the average student loan payment is $393 per month. Right there, that's 1100 the average working salary is 2,500. The average rent in America is 1,200. So between your car, your student loans, and all this other stuff, you're broke. And each day you're trying to figure out how to get the most out of that little money. And no one ever told you, you need to make more money, homie. You know it, you feel it. I had a question on my personal finance channel, Savage Finance, you should subscribe. There's great benefit there for you. It was like, besides making more money, what are the options do I have? I'm like, dude, follow the tips in the video. I break it down very simply. I'm probably gonna have to do another video later date because people are already like, well, dang, this is why I keep getting these low limit credit cards. Just go back, watch the video three times and you will figure it out. But once again, the whole game is starting a business is automatically going to put you in a higher income bracket. You're all, you're going to make minimum three times what the average person makes. An average person makes $28,000 a year. So this is going to put you around to 80 K your life will change, but there's something else that's going to happen. You come in 
and you start a business from scratch and you do the work. You really do the work, you learn from your mistakes, each day you get a little bit better and you push forward in your business. Then one day you look up, you walk out your office, there's five, six, seven, eight, ten employees, all the bills are being paid, you have money in the bank, you have business credit, and you're just gonna get in your car and you're gonna be so confident. You're gonna feel so good because you can look in the mirror each day and say, I did that. I did that. I built that. I created that. I am the man, I am the woman. And your personal self-esteem is gonna be rock solid. So, when, and also, just to go ahead and let you know, you will get haters because you've improved your life, my good man, my good woman. You've built your life. You're going to get haters. Let me tell you a little sad story. And this is even before I had my business. I just dramatically increased my income and I was more successful. I had a friend, keynote, emphasis on the word had, that I used to just show up at their house. And you know, we were that tight. And one day I showed up the house in my brand new BMW. I, you know, cause I had a killer month and you know, I went out ahead you know, and did a crackhead move. At least I paid cash for it. I didn't pay my taxes, got into a little trouble with that. But I went over to my boys Chris's house in my brand new BMW and it was like, we were cool. So I thought, nice little visit. And uh, as I was leaving, he said, hey, you need to say you just can't be dropping by like that. Oh, okay, I'll call next time. Next time I call him, he didn't call me back. Nope. And then we had mutual friends. I said, hey, will you reach out to so-and-so? Yeah, he called me right back. And then I called him again. No response. I lost a friend because I became more successful. Just stop talking to me, just like that, like someone turning a faucet off, our friendship was over, just like that. It was the craziest thing and it was just like, what happened? And as you become more successful, as you push forward, you will develop haters, but you will also develop cheerleaders. You will have people who will be happy for your success. You will have people who will be proud of you. I remember I got this message from this elderly lady when I wrote my first book, Making Money A to Z with self storage and auctions. This started my media company, Empire. And she's like, I, don't, I know you don't know me, but I just want to say, I am so proud of you because you did not let your circumstances hold you back. And I, I just got to tell you, I'm so proud and so impressed with you. And I got email and messages and Facebook messages like that all of the time. So you will get more people who will love you and support you than haters. Like right now, hey Greg, because I know you're watching, I got this super hater who is like working overtime in the gym, doing squats, lifting weights, drinking protein. He is hating 24 seven. I create a new channel, he shows up. Greg is so jealous of my success, he cannot help himself. He's obsessed with me. And actually, you know, I remember the phrase like, he's not a hater, he's just a misguided fan because he, he knows everything I do. He is on it. Hey Greg, tell the wife I said hi. And tell the wife if she wants to know what it feels like to be with a real man, to holler at me. That is, if she's not a land whale. If she's a land whale, we can't really get down like that. More than likely, since she's your wife, she probably is a land whale. But anywho, you will get haters. I'll just be prepared for it. Some of it's just gonna come out of nowhere and it's literally gonna blow your mind. And this is what's funny. This will start long before the success is realized. Because once you get on this path of starting your business, developing yourself, becoming the best version of yourself, having your best life, your energy is going to change and this is going to disturb other people. Other people are going to be like, whoa, what, what happened? You, you know, you used to be like a homie, you used to be down for the homies. You know, every Friday night we out drinking and you just like, I don't really have time for that because I'm working on my business. Oh, there you go, you and your business, Mr. Businessman, Mr. Businessman. That's hate and jealousy and misplaced uh, anger because they're mad at themselves. They're not really mad at you. They're mad at themselves because they see you just like they see themselves as one of the peeps, one of the folks. So it's like, if you could do it, 
but I'm not doing it. Uh, why am I wasting my life? What am I doing wrong? So you, you've got this situation that's going on, but the reasons to start a business are so many, and this is the good news. You can start a business for little to no money. This business, this YouTube business, I started it for $285 and did not reinvest until year three. And I made $62,000 my first year. I made $92,000 my second year. In year three, I made a gang of money. And that's when I reinvested. So you can today, in today's current environment, start many businesses with little to no money, put in that sweat equity, and then two, three, once again, it's gonna be years. It ain't gonna be weeks, it ain't gonna be months. You ain't quitting your job. You're not quitting your job. But year three, four, and five, and six can be sweet. One day you could be driving a brand new car that you went to the lot and paid cash for. You could be having no credit card debt. You could be making money and paying off your student loans. You could be so clean. You could be so sexy. You could be so clean. So what I want you to do is to subscribe to this channel. Uh, I want you to once again go to the beginning of the channel and put in toggle down through the little thing and watch the oldest videos up to this one because each and every video is going to give you game strategy tips and advice for you to get in this business game so this is your hustling godfather i will see you guys in the next video matter of fact as soon as you finish this video go watch another one start leveling up your game man level it up go ahead do it yeah after I get it, I reinvest. After I get it, I reinvest. People wanna talk that talk in reality. You have not seen me in action. You think the come up comes overnight. You ain't behind the scenes. Trust me, these things don't just happen. No shade to Gerald, but G's don't come.